Listen up real quick, guys. Listen up. Hey, we're playing to our level. Our level is way up here. That's physical, fast, and aggressive. The way we practice every day, today is a statement game. You understand? And execute. All week on offense, we said, execute, execute, execute. Do my job. You understand? You make a statement today. For my Georgia Bulldogs, it's time to tee it up between the hedges for 2018. Good morning, it's Uncle Lou here. Yeah, that's right, it's me, Uncle Lou, and I'm live for you on YouTube today. And I hear him want to say, Lou, you know, you, you can't make a trash talk video about the Austin Peas, Lou. That, that's not, that's me, Lou. That, don't make a trash talk video about the Austin Peas. L listen, listen. <laughs> to all y'all that said that, and to the Austin Peas. Nobody made you play this game, huh? Somebody tie you down? Somebody hold you down? Force you to schedule Georgia? No! No! You're doing it for the money! And you're gonna get plenty of it! So come on to Athens, show up, take your beating, go home, cash your check! Pay for your program for the next five years! You, you want to know the only reason I really even been looking forward to this game? I mean, let's be real. The Austin Peas just don't have a, a chance here. I've got nothing against the Austin Peas. What do you want me? What do you want me to say? But you know, he, here's why I've been looking forward to this game, though. <laughs> you remember last year, all year long? You remember this? Lou, who have Georgia played? Uh, 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 hey, Lou, who have Georgia played, Lou? When Georgia plays a real team, they gonna get beat because who have Georgia played, Lou? All oh, year. I can't wait as soon as this game ends. <laughs> who have Georgia played, Lou? <laughs> All day Sunday. You ain't beat nobody, Lou. <laughs> hey, remember last year? A brief recap for those of you that are new around here. <laughs> Don't sleep on App State, Lou. App State beat Michigan. Never mind, it was like 13 years ago. App State beat Michigan one time. Don't sleep on App State, Lou. A rude awakening for week one. What happened? App State got ran out of the building. Oh, who have Georgia played? Week two, Notre Dame. Oh, Notre Dame's going to beat you, Lou. Notre Dame's not that three-win team they were from the year before. You got to go on the road. When's the last time Georgia played above the Mason-Dixon line, Lou? When is the last time, Lou? Georgia gonna lose to Notre Dame. Fast forward to Sunday after we beat the brakes off Notre Dame. Notre Dame ain't nobody. Lou. Who is Notre Dame, Lou? 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 Who, who is Notre Dame? Remember when Mississippi State beat LSU like 30 something to uh, three or, or whatever the hell the score was? I mean, beat the brakes off of them. Then had to come to Athens the next week. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, uh, uh, App State, Notre Dame, they, they don't prepare you for an elite SEC team like Mississippi State, Lou. Get ready to take that first L, Lou. Get ready, Lou. 
<laughs> Nick Fitzgerald and Dan Mullet doing the belly drag out of Sanford Stadium after a 30 something to three. Molly whopping. Here, 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 you geniuses come to the comment section. What, what is Mississippi State, Lou? Who has Georgia played, Lou? And, and that went on over the course of the entire season. We weren't going to beat Florida, and we beat them. Florida's no good, Lou. Beat Auburn in the SEC championship game. Auburn, no good, Lou. I remember when South Carolina was supposed to beat us at home. Oh, South Carolina, Lou, they don't have to burn no more, Lou. Who have Georgia played, Lou? Playoff game in the Rose Bowl. Oh, Georgia got to travel 5,000 miles just to get their brakes beat off by Baker Mayfield, Lou. Lou's going to disappear after the Rose Bowl. You know why Georgia's going to lose the Rose Bowl, Lou? Because who have Georgia played, Lou? This is the first real team. Yeah, what happened on January 2nd? <laughs> the Big 12 is terrible, Lou. Oh, look, look at Lou. Look at Lou. Look at him. He's bragging about being the Big 12 team. Lou, who is the, who has Georgia played besides a Big 12 team, Lou? Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five national championship game. Listen, Alabama won. Congratulations. Hey, what's up with these gump nut riders, though, right? Uh, it's one thing for the gumps to do, and I'll get to that in a second, but these Tennessee fans, Florida fans, South Carolina fans spent the last six, seven months hunting down every UGA fan they could find so they could type 26 to 23 or second and 26 in the comment section. <laughs> well, what are y'all, part-time Bama fans? Huh? <laughs> I can see why the Gumps are posting it for two reasons. One, they're the, they're the ones that, uh, that, that, that did it. Not Tennessee or Florida or the game cockroaches. But you clowns been all in the uh, comment section. But the gumps too. But like I said, I see why the gumps are doing it. They're actually the ones that did it. And they know it's the last time that's happening for a long time. <laughs> the better team doesn't always win. That's what sort of makes me mad about this season. Everybody's all excited about the start of college football and, you know, looking at their team's games and who they're playing and blah, 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 and all this. I'm a Georgia fan. Our season doesn't even start until the first week of December. I mean, we got a list of 12 used-to-be's, has-been's, and never-will-be's, 12 of them, 12 minor inconveniences, 12 speed bumps, on our way to Atlanta. That's it. I got to wait three more months for, before Georgia season even really starts. I mean, Jesus, look at the list of nobodies we're playing. Tennessee. <laughs> Florida. South Carolina. The Corn Dogs. <sighs> so that's why the Gump fam has been eating this up the last eight months with the second and 26 and, and 26 to 23 and all this kind of stuff. That's why. Because they know that's the last time for a long time. Because if the Gumps get lucky enough to win the West, and that's a big if, they know what's waiting on them there. A giant L. They already know. Oh, but Lou, Alabama just beat you, Lou. <laughs> Alabama just beat you. Hey! Hey! Breaking news! Breaking news! Not sure! Not sure if, if, if you're a potato or just new to football, but the better team doesn't always win. <laughs> Ask Clemson if Syracuse is better than them. Uh, ask uh, Oklahoma if Ohio State is better than them. Ask Ohio State if Iowa in their 55-point parade is better than the Suck Nuts. Ask them. Of course, they'll tell you no. You know what they'll tell you? The better team doesn't always win. And in the national championship game, that was the case. So congratulations, but more good news for the Gumps, though. Who lost the Natty in 2014? Bama! Who won it in 2015? Bama. Who lost the Natty in 2015? Clemson! Who won the Natty the next year? Clemson! Who'd they beat in 2016 to win that Natty? Bama! Who won the next year? The Gumps! Hey! I see a pattern here! I mean, Jesus Christ! 
I don't have to screw up traffic patterns for a living and be a Georgia Tech grad to know a sequence and a pattern when I see one. This is like one of those aptitude tests where they list out a bunch of numbers or symbols or whatever, and they say, name what comes next. Well, I can tell you what comes next. The loser of last year's Natty game, the better of the two teams, Georgia. is winning it all. And Austin P is just victim number one. Have a great day.